What is going on, guys? This is actually an old news that we forgot to discuss. How did we? Chrome blocks downloads for files hosted on HTTP URLs, even if you are in HTTPS homepage. Why? There is a very good reason for it. Let's discuss. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Hussein, and I discuss backend engineering. But sometimes I discuss security uh, related topics that particularly interest me. So if you like this stuff, hit that subscribe button, like, and share it with your friends. Let's just jump into this video. All right. So, uh, guys, mixed content. When we say mixed content, it's always been a bad, a bad, a bad, a bad, a bad idea. Mixed content is when you serve the content on HTTPS and serve HTTP traffic, that's bad idea in general, right? Because you give the, the, the appearance that your site is secure, but is not really secure, is it? Not every communication between you and the server is, is secure. Plus, it will not allow browsers to optimize requests because now HTTP request will have to be served on different TCP connection than HTTPS request, let's say on HTTP2, right? Because now this is two different protocols. This is unsecure, this is secure. The, the HTTPS will have to be served the request on these, but if, if you're directing request HTTP, I cannot use the HTTPS traffic. This is a completely different port, 443. This is port 80, right? Assuming this is the same domain. Obviously, if it's a different domain, that's a different TCP connection already, but yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing is just not secure. Why are we serving HTTP? That's a bad, bad, bad idea. So if you have HTTPS everywhere, I turned it off because I was demonstrating something uh, the other day, but if you have this, it will block you if you have a, if you're serving a mixed content. But it's not so bad if it was an image or, or a GIF, or Jeff, if you're if you're kinky, right, right. Uh, so it's not as bad if it's Jeff, right, or 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 or, or an ad. I mean, if it's, it's ads, it's a little bit bad, but regardless, it's not as bad. But what if it's file? You, I am in a ZNet and I click a link, right, and that downloads. I'll go more Microsoft. I assume Microsoft is secure. The site Microsoft is secure. Microsoft .com. Obviously, it's secure, right? But there is a link to download, I don't know, Windows or something like that. And that link to download that executable is HTTP. Assume that. Obviously, this is not the case. But if you have that, then the communication between moi, a browser, and Microsoft is secure. And that includes the HTML, the JavaScript, everything. But... When I click on that button to load that executable to actually download it from an official website, that establish an unencrypted channel is the wrong word. TCP connection, right? It's a TCP connection is always unencrypted, but but the layer on top of the HTTP protocol is unencrypted. That means it says, hey, git slash uh, Windows. 7.exe okay that's a little bit of exaggerated but let's say yeah i'm gonna download windows 7 as an executable or msi file right so that makes a request to microsoft right and says yeah download this puppy and microsoft will respond back with the content that doesn't sound so bad does it however if you were anyone in the middle if the traffic is served through that person, then they will be able to terminate that traffic and serve you wherever they want because it's unencrypted. So they can look, oh, if they are trying to go to Windows 7.exe or MSI, then download this beautiful Windows 7.exe instead. Hmm, just go ahead and take it. Obviously, this is not an easy attack to execute because how, first of all, the major question, how the heck can I be in the middle of a communication? That's not easy. You can either be, if you're the ISP, 
You can definitely do that. Your ISP, if they are malicious, all the traffic goes through them. Right? If there is a malicious ISP and they can read HTTP traffic because they absolutely can, non HTTPS traffic, be very careful with that. They can say, oh, you're going to download this exe? Download this beautiful exe instead that we will let us spy on you, for example. They can do that. Another use case is a man in the middle or a woman in the middle uh, that goes into Starbucks, and let's assume Starbucks Wi-Fi is unencrypted, right? And then it just does an ARP poisoning. ARP is an address resolution protocol that says, to, to tell everyone in the Wi-Fi connection, yo, 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 everyone, my name is Router. I am the gateway, babes. So it will just broadcast the message that I am the gateway. I am 10.0.0.1 or I am 192.0.0.1. So it will just broadcast this message until before the router, before the actual gateway. And then now you as a laptop connected to the Wi-Fi will just say, nah, okay. I don't know who's my gateway. You are my gateway. That's the IP address of the gateway. I'm going to send you my packet instead. And if the packet, instead of going to the actual router, it goes through the beautiful man in the middle or the woman in the middle or they in the middle, just, okay, because of PC, right? Then I, moi, will make the request to the actual gateway because I know the MAC address of the gateway. And then I will make the request on behalf of the on behalf of the client. So I can play as literally a man in the middle. And then make the request to the router. The router will just go to the internet and does its thing, right? Subnets and all that jazz. So yeah, I just placed myself in the middle. And when I place myself in the middle, I can read all your traffic. Again, only unencrypted traffic. Be very careful. Right? Don't fall into the propaganda that ISP can read everything. They cannot. They cannot read everything. They can only read unencrypted stuff. Eh, that includes your DNS queries. That is changing with DOH a little bit. A little bit. Uh, SNI, they can still read th this thing unless uh, unless Nick Sullivan solves this problem for us, hopefully, uh, from Cloudflare, the ESNI encrypted SNI. Right? Hopefully, they will make that uh extension and encrypt the sni but that's a it's a big deal i mean the host name is everywhere guys in tls hello the millions of extensions as well so yeah there is so much to do there but yeah this is how it's, uh, it can be done so http <laughs> what we're discussing exactly we're discussing this why is it bad to download http urls it is very badish very very badish so i would understand why chrome want to block that Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Chrome, for uh, blocking the por, por favor. That's two different languages. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for me today. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one with some more beautiful news. And uh, check out the content of the channel. I discuss back engineering and security stuff and then software engineering stuff. A lot of stuff. Anything that particularly interests me, I discuss. Right? Guys, see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.